All right, folks, welcome to another League with Green White Reclaimer Company. Substantial changes before since the, the last list. Uh, the main deck is pretty much the same. I'm gonna, I think I have like the main deck so far. I think I like the three Dryad, three Tracker split. I could see going uh, one way or the other. I could even see going up to the fourth Courser, honestly. Courser is just very good in this deck. Uh, but uh, the substantial changes are happening in the sideboard. Uh, basically, I lost way too many matches uh, by having Path to Exile, so I just got tired, and now I'm going to be playing a couple of copies of Oust and one Dismember. I'm also adding Blasson to the to the sideboard. I'm definitely not sold on this card. This is very, very much uh, for, for testing purposes, uh, but uh, we're going to give it a shot. And then I added the third copy of Scavengenius in the sideboard. Uh, the rest is pretty much the same. We still have the Aria of Champ, we still have the Revoker, which by the way, I think it's probably the worst card in my sideboard, so definitely looking for something something better eventually to, to play here. Um, but yeah, everything else pretty much remains the same. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna see how, how things work out in this new league. All right, welcome to round number. <laughs> Playing against Lurus to the surprise of absolutely nobody. Um, Let's give this in. I think this is gonna be my oh, blue red. Oh, oh, it's that deck. This is gonna be my. What is it like? Sixth shadow deck that I'm facing today. My opponent is a genius. They did the impossible. They flipped Delver on turn one in modern. It's virtually an impossible task. <clears throat> so... Oh, nice. Um, yeah, I guess that's better. I'm gonna have to fetch shock here because if my... If my hierarch dies, I need to make sure that I can act. Uh, that I can still cast Skyclave on three. <clears throat> they went bottom top with Zero Visions. That deck doesn't play Stubborn Denial, right? In any case, I'm probably gonna play around things anyway. So let's just Courser here. Let's see what's on top. Um, does that interest me? I don't think so. My opponent already has demonstrated that they don't have an answer to this reclaimer. So, if they're playing Shadow, they can play the Shadow anyway. So they don't have Shadow, I think, because they could have played it last turn. Oh, damn it! I have six, and I'm gonna take one point of damage. Feels bad, man. <laughs> Member. Okay. So they probably have drown in the lock. So I'm going to serve. And I guess I'm gonna upkeep. I'm pretty sure that they do not play Stammer Denial. They play Drown the Lock instead. So here comes the Drown. <clears throat> yep. 
Something good, please. That qualifies. Tracker Knight of the Reliquary. <clears throat> So I guess that my threats are lethal, so there's no way, there's no reason for me to attack with the Hierarch, I'd rather draw the card. If my opponent has Bolt, we're dead anyways. At least please don't K command me, because that would suck. Because we missed on a, a life. All right, so, Oust, Blast Zone, Pajuki Bog, Dismember, Scavenge News, Aureo Champions. I guess Archon of Emery and Eidolon are pretty interesting here because my opponent's playing uh, Snapcasters. Shave probably a couple of ghost quarters. Yeah, it's got a couple of ghost quarters. It makes our mana slightly worse though. Ghost quarter does act as mana fixing a fair amount in this deck. A perfect curve, right? Six one drops, six two drops, nineteen three drops. Easy. Perfect. Perfect curve. Do, do, do. All right, let's go. Sucks to shock on one against the Scourge of the Skyclay deck, but... <clears throat> okay. Pass the turn. This is our hand opponent. What do you got? Currently have 22 lands in the deck, I guess. Land would be great. Definitely an apparition here. Taking a bazillion damage, but where do you find the cyber guide? Good question. You need to join my Discord and then you need to go to settings and you need to link your <clears throat> your Twitch and your Discord accounts and that will grant you access to all of the sub only channels in the Discord and that's where you will find the cyber guide. Yeah, the amount of shadow decks is just ridiculous right now. So 
So opponent can't push here, which is good. If they attack, I'll just block. Imagine that's gonna get drowned. No. My opponent did not fetch shock last turn, so. What are they planning to do though? Yep, yeah, can't do anything else. Now we just chill. <laughs> now we just chill. Whenever my opponent plays anything, boom, we get him. Oh, you don't want to play anything, opponent? All right. We can play this game. <clears throat> Does so anyone know why MTGO might not open? It just shows a loan and screen, but nothing opens. Um, no, I don't know, Bracer. I don't know what it might be. Sometimes it's just kind of derps <laughs> to say it somehow. Archon really doesn't mess around. Archon really doesn't mess around. I think I don't like this member. I'd rather have a ghost quarter. Like it, it's it's an extra answer to Larus specifically. Yeah. I guess I'd rather just not bring into this member. Game three. Um, sure. Sam has lands, which is my favorite thing. champion all right can we draw anything and the basic place is a particularly brutal draw because now my flag stones keep getting worse and worse so not a great time. Not a great time. 
de dónde soy, eh, originalmente de Argentina. Pero hace muchos años que no vivo en Argentina. Good old fetch for no reason with the Elder of Secrets. Love to see it. I will block you. That's a great draw. It's a truly great draw. This enables drawing the lock here, which sucks a little bit, but it is what it is. I'm gonna play news. No attacks, I don't think I wanna grow my opponent's shadows. And my opponent has one turn to get rid of this coming genius or it's gonna take over. Bad. I love how drawing the lock doesn't do anything anymore. <laughs> Delver continues to not flip. Yeah, I guess that you're right. Yeah, Drown kills Scavenger News. Yeah, you're right. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. the turn they know about that though they know about the company <laughs> oh delver never change delver in modern by the way i wanted to point out the fact that my opponent uh, misplayed their mistress bubble so the correct thing to do is like knowing the top card of my deck is obviously irrelevant, but knowing their top card when they're flipping a Delver, if my opponent were to uh, use their their bubble in uh, my turn, that means that on their turn they they can look at their own deck, they look at the top of their own deck. If the card that they see there is um, is an instant or sorcery, they um, they stack the Delver trigger first to reveal that card. And if they don't, they stack the bubble first, and then they get like a, another look. So that was just actually a misplay from my opponent. So we're just gonna play a land here, and I'm just gonna play a Dryad as my spell for turn. But now we can use Reclaimer to suck a land. We get Valakut, Valakut, I guess kills the Delver. I could attempt to kill the Shadow, but if my opponent has a Dismember or they have a Bolt for their own face, like sure, they bolt reclaimer, but the damage is kind of already done. Just continue doing nothing. Guy who won the super qualifier with the Delver list is from the Moscow community. 
He said he was memeing. That's hilarious. Delver has looked bad, but like my opponents also have not been. Uh, they have not been getting the very good advantage. I mean, it just the thing that it is that in modern Delver requires you to get a lot luckier, right? Because you cannot just play a seventeen land deck like they do in Legacy, just a seventeen like deck with a shit ton of cantrips because you don't have enough good cantrips. So if you're not getting any tiny percentage of value with the with the Delver, like you're just not gonna flip. And if you don't just luck sack, would you have like a thirty or forty percent at most uh, to flip the Delver immediately? The, the card is just embarrassing. Anyway. See you for the next round. Hello, welcome to round number two. Very slow hand. Very robust hand too. I think in the blind... I guess in the blind I'm gonna keep it. Like, there, there are many matchups that this hand is great against, and if my opponent goes turn one Swiss Sphere, we basically cannot win. <laughs> So we're really hoping for no turn one golden guide. Or turn one monastery Swiss sphere or something like that. Birdie. So Birds of Paradise probably means Helia. No, not Helia. Not, Helia has been playing Noble. Noble are Ivor Elf, etc. Oh, there we go. That's what this is. Yog. This matchup is crazy. We play knight. We play knight. Next turn we untap, we play ramming up, we play land. We suck a land. We play dryad. That just doesn't work out, does it? So I guess I have to play dryad here. We don't run Bojuga Bog. So I think I just have to play Dryad. And then we're gonna have to ram it up into double land, then Reclaimer can fetch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if they want to go get Yogg, they can go get Yogg right here. So if my opponent has Yawkmoth, they just win. Because they have Giraffe's Messenger. And the way that Messenger works is as long as you have more life than your opponent, you can start to put pressure. Um, oh my 
guess that we can't really win otherwise, so we're just gonna tap out. My opponent can instant speed go get the Yawgmoth and kill me, but we have to hope that my opponent doesn't have it here. Maybe they don't. Suck that. Sick on Balakut. Kill that. Kill that. Oh, did I just miss lethal? I might have just missed lethal here. Whoops. So we can bring him down to one. Seems like the play. So now they just don't have life to start to get going. Well, we yoloed and it kind of worked out. <laughs> so that's great. <laughs> Even though I missed lethal like an idiot, but we didn't we didn't go punished. Missed lethal like an idiot and I also took one point of damage that I shouldn't have taken. If my opponent attacks with the messenger, I'm gonna chomp with the noble hark. If you make them miserable, they'll mess up more game too. Yeah, that, th this is for the moral victory. I'm trying to, I'm trying to win the psychological warfare right here. <laughs> I want my opponent to be like, oh, this guy's, this guy has no idea what's going on. It's all good. Oh, they can go get the the big dude. What's the name of the big dude? Cause they can sack Giraffe Messenger and go get um, it's not Trick Mole, it's Cavalier of Night. So that kills the Dryad. They have to sack something. Dry it down. Boom. Oh, it's tight though. Nice play from opponent. 
All right, so Bajuki Bog is good. Uh, Oust is probably good. This member is good. I guess Oriole Champion seems good. Revoker, Scavenger News. Tracker, not what the matchup's gonna be about. Same with Raminab, even though Raminab was kind of nuts in that, in there. Um, Knight is great. Birds are fine. Kromer's great. Dismember's fine. Corsair. Aria Champion seems like it should be good, but it, in reality, it's not, it's just not gonna work out that way. Like they can still combo kill us. They just need like two Giraffe Messenger, or they need like Giraffe Messenger plus the Giraffe Messenger plus um, Sulu or Cutthroat. So it seems like it. It feels like it should be good, but in reality, it actually just is not. I may be wrong on that. All I know is that this hand slaps. As long as we find lands, we're gonna be great. And even if we don't, it's not the end of the world. We just have to dodge one turn, basically. Land. Excellent. <clears throat> we do have a couple of options. We can Revoker. Revoker on Yawkmoth. Oust. Stranglewood Geist. I think this is what I want to do. Okay. All right. Looking good here, looking good, looking good. Yaldemoth, a Thrime Physician, White, if my opponent offers the block I'm gonna take it, if they offer the trade I'm gonna take it. Because once they get the Geist is gone, then they can't answer the scavenger news. Okay. Okay, so this only taps for colorless. I don't know what they can get for three mana. Maybe their own revoker. That's probably it. So then I want to make sure that this is a 3-3 so my opponent doesn't have attacks. Okay. Reclamation Sage. So now opponent doesn't have attacks. We can company an end step still holding up um, one Scavenger Genius activation. Cutthroat. We can apparition that. Uh, is Stryad better than Hierarch? I guess so. Not by that much, really, but like we. I guess, I guess we have Corsair going, so yeah, I guess it is by that much. Okay. 
one, two, three. Can draw into this member whenever we want to. Finally has a callless mana. Cast for down. Um How do I lose here? Mion Absan. I also love that we, we don't need to pay life for this member, which is which is hilarious. <laughs> Alright, that's the big guy. That is the big guy. Let's see the revoker. And I'm not gonna cycle, I'm just gonna naturally draw the this member. Black, black, colorless. Sweet, two and out. See you for the next one. Welcome to round number three. Which figure? This figure, okay. Yeah, I mean, basically a bunch of random nonsense with like this, this X basically. Is it? Is it what? That that's pretty bad too. Yeah, you're right. That's that one's pretty bad as well. Legacy joke of he's choosing to play, so he's not a malice reg. Oh, the goose is loose. Oh wow 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 wow. The goose is loose is very very bad too. I still think the wish member which member is more overused and more irritating, at least for me. I honestly, I don't know why it bothers me so much. It really frust frustrates me at, at, a, at an unreasonable level. Like it's just unreasonable the hatred I had for that for that joke. Like, it, it just makes it, it makes literal no sense. But I just can't help it. Oh, I I I I missequenced this very poorly, actually. Yeah, I missequenced this very poorly. So what I I wanted to play reclaimer. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna miss on that now. It means that I'm probably gonna shuffle an upkeep, honestly. At least I'm gonna look at my options. I'm bothered by the term the term poob. No, I mean, just the poop thing is, it's its different. Like, the poop thing is just because I don't understand it, and it just, it, it annoys me when people try, like, extremely hard to make something a thing. And if you, if you need to try that hard, then it's probably not a thing, you know? If you need to try that hard, then it's probably not a thing. And you are just, like, trying to push something that honestly makes no sense. Okay. Oh, did it? I think I messed this up. No, never mind. I'm a genius. I did mess it up though. I I got I was saved by the fact that there was another thing on top, but I, I did mess it up though. Am I taking ten here? I think I'm just taking ten. So 
It's really spot on description of Rainbow Dex dripping with fire design. <clears throat> I'll fetch, so stop trying to be. What? Okay, that joke is really going over my head. <laughs> um, so, tireless tracker. I guess we suck this first. Not having dry it here kind of sucks a little bit. Trangle to turn on the Miguel Juez con tu lista. Muy buena. Subir los trackers a 4 porque se juega mucho en mi beta. Ah, mira vos qué bueno. Grande. Muy bien, o sea, Ron. Felicitaciones. Um, we can't really get Ghost Quarter going just yet, and I probably don't want to canopy now that we have Tracker going. So I guess I'm just getting the Flagstones. Because now I can go... I guess I want to fetch, so let's just fetch. Because the top of my deck sucks. Get a forest. That's better. Play it, chump blocker. Pass the trim. It's interesting that my opponent did not attack last turn. I probably have to throw something under the bus here. It's I guess it's going to be this ramen up. If my opponent makes another conservative attack, maybe I don't. But if they swing with both goives, I'm just going to throw one of these ramen ups under the bus. And by one of these ramen ups, of course, I mean the only ramen up that's here. <laughs> For whatever reason, I just said one of these. But I think that the mana from the Noble Hierarch is going to be more important. What do you got, opponent? Big attack. Ramen up, jumps in there. <laughs> Scorcer is holding the fort. Corsair is holding the fort. Should bubble themselves and if they don't like what's up, they shuffle. But they should look for a push or a dismember or something. They, they honestly like they have to kill this Corsair. We're getting a ton of card advantage. And it gives us a lot of selection as well. We have four, four clues to crack. Okay, so this is probably Scorch. Yeah, makes sense. Reclaimer. One, two, three, four, five, six. So far we have six mana. Find the dryad, we're gonna be in really good shape. We could also find a dryad. We're gonna be in really good shape. Sergi Alves, thank you for the follow. What are you at, opponent? Yeah, you at eight. Mm -hmm. 
This silly noble hierarch we got last last turn. Kill your for good measure. Sweet. All right, another John Shadow. Got one Ghost Quarter, Birds, Champion, and Scavengers. We said we didn't like this member. How do I feel about Arkan though? I mean, playing oust. Yeah, I'm trying it out. Always trying different things. But just try, I mean, I, I've been losing to, a, to Shadow a lot in what I thought was a good matchup, but I just keep getting got by pathing my opponent's creature. So, like, trying the same thing and smashing my, you know, head against the wall over and over again. That's not a good recipe, right? So, just trying something new. It's kind of great. I'm not sure if that's the way to go, but I think it's it may be better than what I've been doing. That's what the testing is for. That's what the testing is for. Grim Lava Man. I think we'll let Grim go for now. Because we can just champion here. That locks the Grim out. There's also the fact that we can oust our own things, which is pretty cute. I don't think I have any interesting in any interest in attacking, even though we could get in there for a ping. They also played Blast One instead of Gamony and the Vujur couldn't decide. Yeah, I'm not playing Blast One in the main deck. I think that already our mana is it's it's just egregiously bad. I think our mana is awful, so My opponent could have killed the knight and they let me untap with it. See if they sequence stuff properly. Made our land drop. So they can answer this knight here. They don't. What's their plan? Wow. 
this is going to be a blowout. <laughs> it's pretty cute. So now they can't kill my... They should have killed my knight when they had the chance. I don't know what they were thinking. Like, why would they not kill the knight there? Like, what was their plan? Whatever. See you for round number four. <laughs> this is round number four. Let's see what we got. Another Lurus deck? Wow. Holy crap. I guess out there it's Lurus Fest. So I think I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go basic forest, because if the Reclaimer dies, then we can play Temple Garden tapped on two, and we still have Apparition mana on three. I guess there's an argument for just like fetching anyway. Because I, I don't I don't take damage from the canopy. Yeah, I get I guess that I wanna get a Temple Garden anyway. Cause then I, I hopefully if I find lands I can delay playing the canopy. <laughs> Spell snare suddenly best counter spell in the format. Like for real. Like it feels like once and two drops are what everybody's doing right now. Oh, I'm playing against this deck. Well, I mean, there's only one thing that matters, and it's um, finding Night of the Reliquary. Hmm. Is this mill or is this not mill? I have to assume that this is mill, right? Technically, it could be some form of Lurus control deck. gonna pass the turn here it feels mill but like I fetched on turn one and my opponent did nothing it could be a Lurus control deck let's see Wow. That is very bad. If this is indeed mail and we're about to get round locked, I'm gonna be very sad. Yep. So I guess it's just F6 on turn one? Can go find second Valakut. Or we can swing for 13. 14.
Easy swing for 14. <laughs> So I guess we're getting drowned here. That sucks. <sighs> it's a crab. Feeling pretty dead here. That knight was the only thing that was giving us a shot. Am I out of fetchables? Probably one, two, th so planes are gone. One forest, one, two, three temple gardens. Wow, it's pretty huge actually. Um, so one forest, two forest. No, I'm not gonna risk it. Gonna go face, I don't think my opponent has push here. And if I want to kill this, then they can just fetch in response anyway, so. Now I'm gonna go. Now I'm gonna go for killing the crab. I just have to be dead here though, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we lose to combination of two. We lose to a combination of two mill spells here or crypt incursion we probably lose to crypt incursion too because we have a lot of creatures in the yard yep i mean if they have nothing else Second excavator is gone. Trackers. There is a dryad. I'm not going to shuffle. So we probably lose to the orb. So that is six. We swing for one, two, th that's seven out of 51. Next turn we get two more triggers. So we need like two more turns, yikes. Now, Crypt Incursion is very good against us because we have way too many creatures. Okay. This matchup is basically unwinnable. This matchup is basically unwinnable for us. I don't think I've ever beaten this matchup.
Do we want Archon? We want Screws. No, it was definitely not 32. Lots of stuff in the graveyard. I think I like Archon, but probably not Eidolon. How's my spell to land ratio if we do 67 and 27? It's probably better for me to cut cards, right? Go with something like this. Let's try it like that and see how it works out. I guess I should have cut a ghost quarter. Yeah, I should have definitely cut a ghost quarter. I have one land too many now. Isn't it nice because it can deal with orb? Yeah, more orb doesn't scare me as much. Funny how I said that, I'm, I'm literally about to lose to the card. Creatures. Mm -hmm. Double archive trap. Single. Ah, man. I hate this matchup so much. What are, we, what are we looking for? Dry it? Damn it.
Noble Hero actually lines up pretty nicely against Miss Mary Gorg. I think on the right side, when we had 20 Cyborg, this wouldn't be a deck. What do you mean? Because everybody would get to pack the Cyborg hate. So still four Dryads in the deck, uh, three Dryads, sorry, we ate one. Oh, so I guess there's only two, never mind. But if we lock stuck a Dryad, we gotta lock suck a Dryad. Don't crypt me, bro. Don't crypt incursion me, bro. That's a crypt incursion if I've ever seen one. Yeah. God damn it, man. Okay, I, I needed to do dry it there. But like now, we just don't have enough time. We just don't have enough time. I guess my opponent could have absolutely nothing. No, but I, I literally just don't have enough time. Should I just should I just play a freaking Koselec or Emrakul in my sideboard? Dryad, 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 right here. Dryad. Knights are gone, excavator. So both riders are gone now. See you for the last round. Last round of the day. Let's see if we can go home with a four and one. Would be very nice. Playing against a Yorion pile of sorts. Or my opponent is getting very creative. Either or. They do reveal Yorion, so we're on the play which makes this hand great. On the draw, maybe this hand would be a little bit sketch because my opponent could be playing a red and six deck. Birds of Paradise. I'm assuming this is Niv. Playing 80 cards to beat mill. Maybe that's what I should be doing. This is an interesting spot. I think I'm just gonna company. 
The problem with company in here is that like this can go great of this can actually backfire. I think it went okay. Like that wasn't really a great company. It's definitely an okay company though. And now next turn we're gonna be we're gonna be in pretty good shape. As long as they don't have like deputy detention or something like that, you know. Stoneforge. So just like Naya. Sword of Fire and Ice. Fetch land, fetch for I think let's fetch for a temple garden so we can sack this. Sack burning catacombs, fetch forest courser. Missed a land drop, unfortunate. So Pony has Sophie, so they can attack and probably what like kill the Sky Cliff version. I guess it can kill my bird. We know that prison. Honestly, it feels like my opponent got the wrong sword. Feast and Famine would be a lot scarier than Fire and Ice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Thing. Fetch again. Another forest. Is this technically a land? I really want to attack here. So my opponent is probably going to jump with the illusion. So now our bird can chump whatever they put the sword on. Are we in Apple Podcasts? No, uh, Adam, we are on Spotify. We are on Spotify, but not on, not in the podcast app. As far as we know, it's bird tribal. I mean, it's the only thing that makes sense, right? I think I messed up by getting the wrong sword. It really feels like Feast and Famine would have been a lot more devastating for me. Now next turn we're gonna have great attacks.
and even though we're not drawing particularly well this knight's maybe good enough down to two cards they don't move bird around they don't move equipment around i mean One, two, three, four, five. They can only cord for three, though. They can only cord for two. So I'm just putting another very threatening creature into play. Just turn our dude sideways. Not really using our mana for anything else, so we're just gonna do this. Path and night, sure. Seems like this is the kind of fight that I'm winning, right? Where my opponent paths my knight of the reliquary. Yep, that's the kind of fight that I'm winning. You're dead next turn, opponent. What do you got? I guess they can technically find another path to exile to prevent me from killing them. But even without this Dryad, I feel like we would be in good shape regardless. Omnath. Okay, so I think it's just Omnath Kiki Gorn. The, the good old Blood Moon Omnath deck. Love to see it. You love to see it. That's my kind of that's my kind of player. Athanasios. Athanasios is my it's my kind of player over there. Living the dream, you know? Technically, they can Yorion here. Whether that's good or not, it's probably not good, but... Playing all the archetypes at the same time, yeah. Why wouldn't you, right? Resto. Second main phase resto, not as threatening as main phase one resto. So I guess we pivot. I guess we pivot. 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 So we play our Dryad. We play our land. Yep. Pew pew pew. Okay. Um, last one seems pretty nice. This member seems pretty nice. Oust. Maybe scavengers. So 
So these are the cards that I'm interested in. I guess I'm not gonna have room for that. Ramming up can go to Operation is the nuts. Revoker could work against Kiki Jiki. I just don't think that's what the matchup's gonna be about. Feels like if we're playing fair, I'm probably gonna outfare my opponent. Such an interesting hand. I'm keeping for sure, but the question is what do we do? I guess we're supposed to Reclaimer because Reclaimer finds me the mana that I need in order to Apparition. I do have Splinter Twin. Um, I guess I'm gonna fetch for planes to play around Mind Sensor. I guess that if my opponent goes for Magus, they just they just get themselves. One, two, three, four, five. So ugh. that sucks. So I think we're probably just drawing freaking my opponent just has uh, resto. Oh, court for two. Does that mean they have another cord? It probably has to mean that because it seems kind of a waste to court for two here. Now you just wait one more turn and you have a much better suite of targets. I think my opponent just has another core uh, lined up, but I'm ready to go in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now they can core for four. So they can go save their dude. Four mana. Ugh. Mono operations. God damn it. No answer to the stupid Kiki. Defender with haste, yeah. Fire has gone too far. <laughs> the fire design has gone too far. What if this defender with haste nonsense? It's a lot of mana. That's a lot of mana. Want to just going for the combo? No respect for removal.
You can do it, opponent. <laughs> you can put a Court of Calling on the stack. I have faith in you. You can do it. Imagine if my opponent is just like bluffing me here and they don't have the cord and they're just fishing for a concession. <laughs> they're just, that would be the next level play right there. All right, they figured it out. Successfully figured it out. Uh, okay, maybe we actually need this. Four and one. Four and one. Mr. Autistic, thank you for the follow. Four and one. This hand looks like it's good, but in reality, I don't think it's very good. Which sucks, but it, nice. I still think I have to keep it. Pretty unfortunate set of circumstances, if you ask me. Mm, I think my opponent wanted to evolution the bird and they just got themselves. Red. Second red mana. Oh, come on. God damn it, man. I'm just hoping I can miss their mana a little bit. That's so brutal though, that we just drew a bunch of blanks. The naturally drawn Kiki, oh, see some part, okay. How's the deck been feeling? Uh, it, it needs a lot of work. It feels like it needs work. I think I'm gonna hold on to the Dryad. And then on the same turn, like until like at least until I can like get a land drop and I can get a couple of Balakan triggers. Playing around. Playing around Resto, which my opponent obviously has. Yeah, Night Old Border. Old Border Night is, is really hot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so they have, if they have Cord, we're dead. Oh, come on. 
this is so devastating, man. This is so devastating. Every single time we've been like ridiculously close. Oh my god, they don't have double green. They don't have triple green. They don't have triple green. Wow. Just put urine in hand or something unnecessary. Sure. Goose. Still no triple green though. Still no triple green. Like they obviously just have the cord. Please let me have a land of the top. Please let me have a land of the top. Let me get that four on one baby. <laughs> the oust play is vindicated, yeah. Fuck yeah. Oust is busted. No blocks. No. <laughs> Tracker gives me outs. Uh, it gives me outs. Um, land gives me potentially the win. <sighs> I am too tired, chat. I am way too tired. We're short of land. We're short exactly one land. Blast zone is interesting. What does blast zone do? One, two, three, four, five, six. Did I bring in Blast Zone? Yeah, but they don't have up to five to go with Kiki. I did bring in the Blast Zone. Okay, so. This does put me behind the land. So now I need to get a little bit luckier. But at least I am not just dead on board. Now they can only do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And they didn't have a, have a land last turn, so I'm assuming that they don't have a land Unless they top deck it. Well, Ghost Quarter is the same thing, right? Like, it puts me behind the land, so I'd rather... Like, my dudes don't matter. I'd rather kill the Gilded Goose. I'd rather kill the Gilded Goose than... to do something else. So now my opponent can... They can cord, but they can only cord for three. If they find any untapped land, we're dead, though. Putting us back in land is brutal, though. Super rough. Yari on two hand. They missed it. Oh my god, they missed it. Alright, any land off the top. Okay, so. One. Two. Sack this. 
flagstones. Suck. Flagstones. Get a planes. Second Valakut. One, two. This is just lethal, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's 18 damage. Wow. Want to miss the line? They they actually had lethal. Gita Nykost, thank you for the follow. The Knight of the Reliquary Stronghold. <laughs> wow. Oust your bird, got him. <laughs> Oust your bird. Wow. We really dodged there. All right, loss was to the male matchup, male is unwinnable, whatever. We beat... I felt a lot more comfortable with the ousts against Shadow. Definitely felt a lot more comfortable. Um, the scavenging uses in the main deck have been doing some work. Triple Dryad versus four Dryad, it's still super, super up in the air. I can't figure that part out. That just kind of feels like it's the last piece of the puzzle that I'm missing. And I've, I've experienced situations for both. I've experienced situations where like having a bunch of dryads has gotten me, has gotten me uh, the, the result that I needed. And then there have been a bunch of situations where just I just had a bunch of dryads and then I did nothing. And having something like a tile of shocker or another course or crucifix would have been game winning instead. Um, I also would like to have access to more fetch lands. We're definitely short on fetch lands. I really wish we had like maybe one more fetch. Maybe in place of the canopy. I never liked the canopy, honestly. I just don't think the canopy is very good because you're trying to get lands into play and canopy just basically it acts directly against that we could go up one land maybe cut the second scavenger news we could go up one land and have access to one of our utility one of our utility lands in the main deck i don't think that's where i want to be the mana base is is the toughest part about the deck though the mana feels like it's the hardest part of the deck So then that way we're doing like 24 lands plus two Valakuts. And we do something like this. Okay. 
Because in a random matchup, I, I'd probably just rather find the Blast Zone, like, or have access to the Blast Zone at least. And then, done a random scavenging news. Yeah, that's, that's the slot. That is the slot. So if we go, the thing is that I want to bring in the Blast Zone or, I mean, one of the lands that I have in the sideboard. Like, we could play a Canopy on this slot. Uh, that's, that's another option. We could just play the Canopy here. The problem with that is that like we do need the uh, we, we do need like a bunch of basics. I I tried going down to four down to six basics and I definitely missed the eighth one. Uh, we definitely need the fetchables because of the flagstones engine and by putting blast on here that still gives me it's basically like a cyborg card that I have in my main deck as opposed to one more card like this could be maybe a bojukabov or something like that. I don't know. But I think that right now, maybe Blast Zone is the better option. I mean, this is not Graveyard Hate, right? Like, this is just, like, a creature that it is... I mean, it is technically Graveyard Hate, but, like, that's not why it's in the main deck. It's because it's, like, a curb filler of sorts. Did we lose to Mill? Yeah. We can't beat Mill. So I guess the next time that I try the deck is gonna is gonna look something like this. And the dismember versus oust thing is just I just know that I don't want to play Path to Exile. I just know that Path to Exile is not what I want to be doing. Oust is gonna be better against the Swift Spear and the and the Shadow decks. This member is gonna be better against the Heliods, against the like Kiki cores, like the one that we just played against. That kind of stuff. So you just gotta pick your battles, I guess. Just gotta pick your battles. Impressed by Archon, by the way. I think that I'm at a point where... Let's just, just go with a second Archon. And Revoker is definitely the worst card in the deck. But I just don't know what I'd rather play instead. These, I think, are the weakest slots. So all three of these could be a lot better. Yeah, I would have lost if, if I had path my opponent's bird. Or like, it, it, although I guess that in that situation, I would have just held the path, my opponent goes for it, and I just path the resto or the kiki Jiki or whatever. So it's not like we would have lost. The game would just have played out differently. Yeah, yeah. The game would just played out completely different. So, in fact, I only I only killed the bird because it was oust. The main deck schools feels a little random. Yeah, but that's what I wanted to do, right? Like again, like I'm not looking for two drops. This deck doesn't want two drops. We tried Stoneforge Mystic and stuff like that, and it was the worst. It was just terrible. Like the, the deck just does not work two drops. The two drops don't really work in the in the curve. Dried is good in this deck. Yeah, it is good. So yeah, I, I I am aware that the ooze feels a little bit random, but like it's it's the best card for what I it, it does what I want it to do. It's the best card for the job that I wanted to be doing. All right, folks, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this, uh, this stream. If you did, please make sure you let, uh, you let me know. And hit that like and subscribe button. And leave a comment if you liked it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.